What's up, YouTube? And Cynics here. It has been a while since I last posted a video, uh, but I am back and I have a lot of stuff to show you. Uh, uh, TTMs, uh, two in person COVID 19 autographs, and some uh, collectible items I purchased when I was in uh, Cooper Sound this past week when I went. Uh, so let's get started. TTMs coming from former Major League pitcher Mike Dunn. Next one is former Major League pitcher Rocky Childress. Next one is Jay Aldrich. Mr. Roger Craig. Another one added to my Baseball Hall of Fame placard collection, Mr. John Scherholz. H-O-F 2017 inscription. Next person is Lee Gutterman. I sent him those cards and he added his own personal uh, religious card. Next one is Charles Hudson. Gene Garber on 288 tops. As you see in a lot of these, I do collect a 1988 tops design. I am working on that set slowly, but it's a work in progress. Sorry, my phone went off. <laughs> Jeff Ballard. Doug Drabeck. Now for the two COVID-19 in-person autographs. So when I now collect autographs, who is the first person I got in person for COVID-19? Mr. Mark Leiter Sr. So here he is. He did play Major League Ball. His son, Mark Leiter Jr., I did not get his autograph, he said, because of COVID, which is understandable, but I did get his dad, Mark Leiter Sr. Uh, my phone went off again, I'm sorry. Uh, Mark Leiter Jr. is pitching for the Somerset Patriots in the Somerset Professional Baseball Series. Uh, Somerset Patriots are normally in the Atlantic League Independent Ball Club, but this year, since because of COVID, the Somerset Patriots made up a team called the New Jersey Blasters, and they've been playing each other every Friday and Saturday for the past few weeks. And uh, so Mark Ryder Jr. is pitching for them. And that's how I got Mark Ladder Sr. was at the game. And outside the stadium, I was able to get Mr. Vin Mazzaro, who is now my second in-person autograph, COVID-19. <laughs> Back to the TTMs. ODB McDowell. Walt Terrell. Uh, 
Bob Tewksbury. And now, I'm going to go through this quickly. Uh, I, sp I spent a lot of money, not a lot, but a good amount on Hall of Fame induction cards, the 8x10 induction cards. I like getting the people who are alive and trying to mail them out to get signed. So I spent a certain amount and the guy at the store gave me a free one because I guess I spent a certain amount. I did not know about it, so it was kind of a surprise, but hey, I'm not going to complain. I got a free autograph. Mr. Johnny Mice. So, nice, cool, free autograph I got. And I purchased this at one of the card shops in uh, Cooperstown. Mr. Tony Perez with the HOF inscription on it. So, I got those. I'll go try and go quickly. I got a whole bunch. The new ones I've got, a lot of them do sign in the mail. So, a lot of these I'm going to try and mail them out, get it signed. And you probably see it again with a signature on it. So, here we go, Mr. Bud Selig, former commissioner. Not signed, maybe it will be soon. Just got his placard, you know, in the video earlier. John Sherholtz. This would be tough, but if he does a signing, I am ready. Tommy Lasorda. Uh, I had this one. I did not have this one. So Jim Palmer. Again, most of these guys do sign the mail, so I should be no problem getting them signed. Uh, Raleigh Fingers. Nolan Ryan, I know, signs for his foundation. Bert Blylevin. I don't think I had him. Don Smoltz. Carlton Fisk. The new Hall of Fame inductee, will, who, he will get inducted in 2021, Mr. Ted Simmons. Who else I got? Oh, Ryan, Ryan Sandberg. Gary Larkin. I I didn't get this this past week in Cooper Sound, but I do have the Jeter. I recommend you buying this. I know the company photo file went out of business or changed owners or but get these soon. Uh, Paul Molitor. Wade Boggs. Dave Winfield, Jim Rice, Tim Raines, 2020 Hall of Fame inductee, waiting for next year, Larry Walker, and that is it. I know that's a lot. Well, it's not everyone because the, the other ones I've already had. I'm just showing you the new ones I got. Again, none of them are signed. Some of them 
soon will be signed. I, you know, I don't want to spend too much with it because all of them charge a fee. So I don't want to spend too much right away. A little bit, a, a little bit at a time, and some of them will be signed eventually. So that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you and your families are staying safe uh, during this period of time in our lives. Uh, you know, here, especially in New York, things feel kind of basically somewhat normal again. Uh, but stay positive, stay, you know, have faith. We will all get through this and we will come back stronger than ever. And have a great night or day or evening. All right. Bye. <laughs>